it's one of the most heartbreaking sides to this whole situation. So obviously, you know, our pets, our loved pets, beloved pets, go uh, affected by this way more than people. So, you know, the, we we all saw those heartbreaking videos from the Kiev rail station where, you know, owners would just leave, you know, the uh, small cages with their dogs or cats in it and just open the door and let them roam free because they couldn't take them. Uh, there's shortage of pet food in Ukraine. So that's one of the things. If, if you, if you want to help us in the humanitarian uh, way, then, you know, uh, don't forget about our pets as well. Because, I mean, I have two dogs and two cats. So kind of, mm -hmm. and I've made a decision early on. If, if, if I ever have to move, they move with me regardless of the cost or you know, mm -hmm. the trouble that puts me through. Um, so, yeah, it's it's heartbreaking. Also, I mean, two of the tragedies we're witnessing actually now is what's happening in our Kiev zoos. So we have a state-run zoo in central Kiev, which is coping slightly better, and there were even some animal births uh, since the war started. And there's a private zoo to the north of Kiev, which is in the middle of the war zone at the moment. And, you know, there owner and manager is actually screaming, you know, daily saying that, like, you know, we need diesel, we need pet food. And, you know, because we have plenty of animals, it's a huge and amazing zoo. And, you know, they're dying of starvation, of uh, the lack of heat, you know, for, for those animals that need it. But at the same time, like, you know, the real tragedy here is the fact that you can't really bring it up uh, as much as you bring up, you know, the human side of the tragedy, because like, look, how can I, how can I scream at the world that, you know, a couple of lions are dying of dehydration if yesterday in Mariupol, a six-year-old girl died of dehydration mm -hmm. because Russian forces encircled the city and wouldn't let any humanitarian help through. A right. girl, and it's 2022, it's not like 1355, right? right? So, so... In a European country, a six-year-old girl dies of dehydration. I mean, like, there's not enough, there aren't enough tears left for the animals, and that's a real tragedy. I think that's one of the tragedies that we're going to face once this is all over, because, I mean, it's still going to catch up with us in waves. I mean, mm -hmm. the adrenaline is going to go away. We're going to mourn the dead, and then daily, on a daily basis, we're going to see something else that's been demolished or destroyed or lost. Thank you.